Hello there, my beautiful Scorpio friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Scorpio, this is going to be your next three months reading. What I'm going to do is start with an oracle card for the overall theme for the next three months for you. This is the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. All right, and then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull a bonus card and an angel number. So those of you that have been seeing any kind of animals or insects, angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, let's pull an oracle card and see what spirit would like you to know, Scorpio. So Oracle, wait for information, important information here, Scorpio. So there's some important information coming in. I feel this is going to come in the next three months here. And I do feel this could be intuitive messages. This could come through your dreams or this is somebody that's going to come in and deliver a message for you. So I want you to be mindful and aware of this. You're going to know what this message is, Scorpio. So when it arrives, you will know. You're going to know intuitively and you're going to know um, through your gut instincts as well. Okay, so I'm going to read you the interpretation for this card after I pull your tarot cards. Okay, so let's see what spirit would like you to know today, Scorpio. What is it that my beautiful friends need to know for the next three months here? Spirit guides, King of Swords. Wow, this has been popping up a lot. So this is all about mastering your thoughts here, Scorpio, really creating some healthy boundaries around the things that you are consuming mentally, the things that you are thinking about right now. Putting yourself in a positive growth mindset is going to be very important the next three months here, my friends. I do feel that you have the power, you have the strength, you have the ambition. It's now time to ground your energies and really shift your life in a way where you're wanting, the, where you're actually going to see the results of your actions and your thoughts. Remember, our thoughts become our reality. So the more energy and focus we give to our thoughts, whatever those thoughts are, they're going to become our life. So it's now time to shift the way that we think. Now, I want you to use your own intuition with my readings here, Scorpio. So anytime you see my cards popping on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. All right, so we've got the King of Swords coming through. We have the World card. So powerful energy here. You are about to enter a new chapter. This is what's happening here. Ultimately, you're going through a completion period and there's a, uh, a new like a rebirth happening, a renewal happening, an awakening happening for some of you. This sometimes doesn't feel comfortable. Okay, when this change, this transformation comes in, and for some of you, you're going through a really positive experience through this where you're completing things, tying up loose ends, and you're about to start something new. Now, this is a major arcana card. This energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are feeling this intensely. Others, you're feeling this subtly. All right, so we've got the world card and we have the nine of pentacles. So there's a lot of rewards coming in for you, Scorpio, a lot of growth, a lot of success, and it's coming in multiple forms. All right, this is your hard work paying off. You're going to reap what you sow here, my friends. A lot of blessings incoming. Again, this is you standing in this field who has worked very hard for their success and you're going to see the rewards of that success. All right, that hard work. So spirit guides are asking all of you to really roll up your sleeves and get to work here, Scorpio. This next three months is going to be all about um, shifting your life, your lifestyle, okay? So give me a moment while I take a look at these cards. I also wanted to mention here, Scorpio, that we all live different life experiences. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives, okay? So the King of Swords energy entering this new chapter of your life, this new beginning on a positive note. This is where you're going to see the results of your hard work. This is where everything is going to pay off for you. And what spirit guides want you to do here, Scorpio, is to use discipline. You really have to put yourself into a system. And this is a system for your success, whatever that looks like to you, whatever is comfortable for you. You kind of want to get out of your comfort zone, actually. Uh, you don't want to stay in a place of comfort because when 
we're comfortable, we don't grow. So you want to feel a little bit of discomfort, especially around your growth and get side, outside of your comfort zone um, and, and to explore a little bit more around the things that you are wanting to create in your life, the things that you're giving thought to, thoughts on growth and success, okay? And setting up some healthy boundaries around some of the things that you are consuming mentally, like is it the internet that you're watching too much of that is a distraction for you? Perhaps some of you are watching things or hearing or seeing things that create fear within you. Um, even looking at your thoughts, analyzing those thoughts, writing those thoughts down to understand uh, what it is that you are actually thinking. What's whirling around in your mind here, Scorpio? I feel some of you are giving too much thought to something specific in your life that you're not meant to. So it's now time to release and let go of those thoughts. I feel this is a very powerful um, adjustment for you by you clearing those out and really implementing positive thoughts. So, you know, waking up every single day here, Scorpio, with a smile on your face, that sets the tone for the day. And, and uh, working on mirror technique. So going up to the mirror every morning when you wake up, giving yourself a, hey, hello, how are you doing there with a big smile, giving yourself some love, envisioning that version of yourself in the mirror that you want to see outside in the world and you're giving that version of yourself some love here. And using different, different techniques in your own personal life to create that version of yourself, that's you tapping into your higher self, Scorpio. So it's going to be very important that you do that. Self-care is also very important for your mental health. Um, I feel unsubscribing to any kind of social media accounts, YouTube accounts that are creating fear or anxiety in your life. And journaling, they're really wanting some of you to journal here to empty yourself, empty your mind of any kind of thoughts that are steering you in the wrong direction. You know what direction is wrong for you here, Scorpio. So whatever it is that's in your mind, wherever it is that you're giving your mental attention to, it's now time to really take inventory of that and see where you need to make adjustments, okay? Grounding your energy as well. So practicing grounding techniques, getting out in nature as much as you can, uh, hugging a tree, getting out barefoot, standing in the grass, shaking off any kind of the day's energy that is affecting you. I also feel that you are very intuitive, highly intuitive right now. So you're going to be receiving, again, messages that are very important to you for your life and for your growth and your future. So paying attention to these, this could come in the form of somebody coming in, talking to you, giving you some sort of important information that you're meant to hear, but because you're distracted, you're not hearing it. So this is why Spirit Guides want you to be very careful of the distractions you have in your life right now as well, because there's some important important information coming in and you don't want to miss that. That's going to happen in the next three months here, the month of October, November and December. Now, I do feel that this information that's coming in is going to be very potent for your success, meaning it is so um, powerful, this message, it's going to help you grow and succeed. And I feel that if you're able to put yourself into a place of or into a system um, this month of October here, Scorpio, and really implement it with discipline, hold yourself accountable, consistency, have a calendar, organize yourselves, have plans, strategize. And really work this next three months very, very hard here, Scorpio. You're going to roll into January already living that lifestyle. So envisioning that lifestyle for yourself, that version of you in that lifestyle and bringing that version of you into your now. It's like doing a complete 180 degrees. And that's like you waking up tomorrow as a brand new person and not doing the things that you were doing yesterday, right? And again, it's your mind, your thoughts become your reality. So what is it that you're giving energy? Which, what, what thoughts are you giving energy to? What all thoughts are you giving focus to? Because the more you do of that, you're bringing them to life. So is it something from your past? Is it something someone said to you that didn't feel good? Are you, you know, obsessively thinking about that? So it's now time to release and let go of all of those things. We just had the full moon in Aries. Right. So releasing that energy because that energy from the full moon, it was a super moon. So it's extra potent. And it was in the sign of Aries, the warrior spirit, that very aggressive spirit, spirit action oriented spirit. So it's now time to take some aggressive action on creating that version of yourself to create that reality for yourself, right? It always starts with us. It starts with you, Scorpio. So this is going to be very important 
that you actually implement some things in order for your growth and success. And I'm seeing Darth Vader here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, in the background of this card. I don't know if any of you have seen Darth Vader uh, anywhere in your life. If you were watching Star Wars or anything like that, this is coming in. That is so unusual. Very interesting around that energy um, coming through. But there's a lot of red here. So passion. I feel some of you are feeling the passion. Scorpio, you are naturally passionate people. Very mysterious. So it's now time to pull back a little bit and be a little bit more mysterious and use that passion in the background and not let everybody know what it is that you're kind of working on. I feel this is going to be very important for you. It's almost like heaven is trying to communicate with you. Like there's some sort of heavenly presence that's coming down on you. I don't know if any of you had a direct light coming down on you from the sky or somewhere or if you're sitting under a pot light, but there's like light shining on you. It's so funny if it's a pot light because I feel this is a sign it's not like you went and sat under a pot light on purpose or um, intentionally but it's there on you so if you're somebody that's sitting there and has like light shining on you I feel this is um, heaven kind of coming down and communicating with you illuminating something maybe look around as you're sitting in that light to see if you're meant to see something around you now completion um, the end of a cycle, transformation coming through as well. I'm getting re uh, rebirth here as well. Tying up loose ends, final out outcomes and finality is also coming in here as well. Um, I, I really feel because the Nine of Pentacles is present in your reading, there's um, almost like renewals happening and it's just these final outcomes. So perhaps some of you are finishing up something, something that you have created. This could be finishing up a book, finishing up a journal, uh, finishing up some sort of a project. You know, you're, you're finishing up work and starting a new one. Um, it's like this ending period for some of you uh, before you enter this new chapter. This can sometimes feel very busy. It can feel a little bit unstable. It can feel overwhelming. Spirit guides want you to ride the wave of this. It's okay. They're saying you are safe and you are protected here, my friends. That, you know, even if things are piling up, it's kind of like I finish one thing and another one comes up that you weren't expecting. So it's almost like your um, plate is being piled up with way too many things. It's okay. Take some deep breaths here. Allow yourself to breathe through this energy here, my friends, because you're about to enter something brand new and taking some time out for yourself before you start this new journey. So if you're able to go on vacation, take some time out for yourself to really rejuvenate your energy, this is going to reap some rewards for you as well. Now, going in two feet rather than one foot in and one foot out, spirit guides are really wanting you to go with both feet in here because Whatever it is that you're about to start, whatever it is, it's kind of like closing the book, putting it away, and then starting a brand new one. You're going in both feet because you've put the other one away. So it's it's kind of like that. It's when I first started my YouTube channel, I was one foot in, one foot out in the beginning. And I was looking for... Um, a job as I was doing the YouTube channel, it just wasn't working for me. The job wasn't working for me, neither was YouTube. So I had to choose and I chose YouTube and I thought, you know what, I'm going to actually consider this an actual job, like as if I'm going to work and I'm going to work towards building this. So this is the kind of energy I'm getting here for a lot of you out there. There's something new coming in. Spirit guides don't want you to be wishy-washy around this. They want you to actually go full feet, uh, dive right in here, uh, take that leap of faith, take that big risk and go all in, okay? And take it seriously. I feel this is whatever this is, it's happening here in the next three months. But I do feel for a lot of you, this is going to happen towards the end of December into January. Some of you might have already walked into this new chapter of your life and you're already seeing the difference, the change, the lifestyle shifting, all of these things already happening it's like a whirlwind right I'm seeing fl papers flying all over the place so what's that about here Scorpio papers flying all over the place um, new beginnings opportunities new starts um, uh, it, it's like you're birthing something new I also feel that some of you are also coming into this version of yourself it's almost like this awakening that has happened um, where you're you're seeing yourself in the mirror differently. You're starting to, it's like this, 
the shattering of a belief system, this shattering of you, you're kind of like, you know, I'm done with all of this. Something happened recently here, Scorpio, that's putting you in this place here where you're thinking that it's now time for me to be me. I'm done with the way, I'm done with people pleasing. That's what I'm getting here. I am done with people pleasing. I'm no longer going to uh, worry about what someone thinks of me anymore. I'm going to go out on my own and do my own thing, what, no matter what anyone thinks of me. It's like a newfound power. You're taking your power back here and you're entering this new chapter of your life as that version of yourself. So way to go, Scorpio. I feel some of you have done a lot of work to get to this place. And this is a very powerful energy. And again, you're going to enter this new world on this new note. You have a lot of energy here as well. I feel that some of you are kind of partnering up with somebody. This person is holding two wands, which I've actually never seen on this card before or recognized. Um, I'm just, they're coming into my awareness now. Sometimes it's funny how uh, tarot cards work. Sometimes you notice something and then sometimes you don't notice something. It is the most interesting thing with these cards here. And I've been using these uh, cards for a while. And this is the first time I realized that she's holding two wands. Wow. So lots of different energies. It's like you have a lot of energy to give here, Scorpio. You're really wanting to see what the possibilities are around your passions. You're wanting to see how you can... Um, creatively express yourself in the world as well. There's a lot of fire burning within you. You have that will, you have that desire, and you're really wanting to go for it and see where it takes you. And I feel some of you are doing just that. It is such a powerful energy. Have any of you been seeing the number one or the number nine? If you have, spirit guides are calling you to embody the life that the life path energy of the number one and the number nine. Okay, so the number one is all about new beginnings, and number nine is about fulfillment, attainment. It's also a human humanitarian energy as well. Now, the nine of pentacles is a very, very powerful here. It's just letting you know that. Everything that you have been wanting to fulfill in your life through your hard work is coming in. You're going to attain that. Okay, it's it's this growth. It's this stability. It's this financial freedom that's coming in. And I'm getting many different blessings coming towards you here. Different streams of income. Something that you've been working on for a little while here, Scorpio, that is now finally going to see some growth. And this is through you making changes in your own life to create this success. There's something that you're about to shift in your life that is going to work in your favor. Okay, so this is coming in in a very big way. So there's good news coming towards you as well. This is what I'm getting here. There's someone that is going to deliver some good news and possibly this is the uh, Oracle card message that's coming in for you, that important information. And perhaps this is a brand new career opportunity maybe this is a job offer some of you are being headhunted maybe there's something that you're going to be offered to learn something in order to grow to add more value to you um, but whatever this is it's going to give you a solid start this is kind of the energy i am feeling with this um, i also feel that um, there's a lot of abundance coming towards you that financial and long-term success that you have been visualizing and dreaming about, that's also coming in. And I feel this is the opportunity that might be coming in for some of you to grow and expand within the company that you're already working in. Now, this is going to come with its own set of hard work and responsibility. So those of you that are wanting to grow within the company that you're working in and you've been given an offer, this is going to be more work. Okay, so... As long as you understand that and you're, you know, this is kind of what I had to go through when I was working in the dental field because I first started as a dental receptionist and then over time I became a dental office manager uh, managing multiple locations, which was a lot of work. Uh, at that time when I was doing this, I was, I had the energy to do it. I loved it um, and I was really good at it. So I was being headhunted. So I feel some of you are experiencing the same thing. I came to a point in my life where, um, I just wasn't passionate about it anymore. It's not that it wasn't fulfilling. It's just not what I wanted to do because I had been doing it for over 25 years. And then, you know, after COVID, all these things that happened kind of woke me up to the reality of the world and my situation. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to break free and I'm going to do my own thing. And this is the energy I'm getting for some of you is you're kind of wanting to break free. You're wanting that freedom. You're really wanting to create something on your own where you're not 
um, having to go to someone else for that security net, that financial security net that is underneath you, that, you know, paycheck that you rely on in order to pay your bills. So you're wanting to create this empire, this legacy for yourself. This is coming towards you. If you're able to put yourself in a system here, uh, Scorpio, you're going to be able to grow and succeed in many, many different ways here. So those of you that are wanting to really uh, focus and take this part of your life seriously, where you are breaking free from the nine to five, I feel October is a great start. And even planning and strategizing this, being resourceful, getting all the information that you need, picking up on all those skill sets, you're going to see a lot of rewards for your hard work here, my friends. All right. So I just, it's just a good energy here for you, Scorpio. So Oracle, wait for important information. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. Okay. So let's see what we get here for you today, Oracle important information so be open and receptive to information scorpio gather facts that, so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity integrity is very important because they're showing it to me in my mind in capital letters angels ancestors and the universe are speaking to you at this time scorpio so look and listen for important conversations, signs and messages that will point you in the right direction, right? These signs come, can come through anything. These could be through billboards. These could be through license plate, through animals, through numbers, a literal arrow that is pointing you in a direction, right? It's so funny how it works. You are being guided to wait for information before making any fast moves. And we have a speedy energy in the air that is coming through Aries right now. So slow down, Scorpio, because at the moment you are letting your wants get in the way of your needs. There is an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time, but you will only be able to do so if you're willing to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or action you have to take, don't take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be revealed be revealed. Then you'll know what to do next. Angels are supporting you, so trust them. Scorpio, so Wait for important information. Spirit guides are really wanting you to meditate here as well. I'm getting meditation coming through as well. So if you're able to incorporate meditation into your life, if it's once a week, once a day, this is going to help you in a very big way as well, Scorpio. So I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you as well from the elemental the wild elemental oracle deck so those of you that have been seeing animals or insects around you this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance all right and then i'll pull an angel number for you as well so we are getting frog have any of you seen a frog in your life if you have this is your confirmation if you haven't you're seeing one now and this frog can be anywhere it can be in a picture on an earring, you know, somebody drew it on TV, on the internet, wherever. If you've seen a frog, this is your confirmation. And I'm getting the number 19 coming through as well. So number 19 is playing a significance in your life as well, Scorpio. So one plus nine is 10, which equals one as a life path number, new beginnings, right? It's a lot of luck coming in. So number 19, let's pull this up and see what we get. So singer of songs, transformation, cleansing, understanding emotions, and rebirth is all the frog. When frog hops into your life, you are being nudged to actively, actively look for opportunities for transitions. You may be facing some of life's toughest challenges and frog messages and lessons will help you swim through these changes and uh, with grace and ease. The awakening that accompanies these changes will bring greater abundance into your life. It's that awakening that I was talking about around the world card. Alternatively, frog medicine is also symbolic of, com uh, symbolic of coming into your power. This is done by purifying the soul, releasing emotional baggage, and coming from a place of personal integrity. Frog is telling you to make all your choices based on what is best for you. Integrity just came up again for you, Scorpio. So that's a big one for you. 
integrity so i'm now going to pull an angel number some of you have been seeing angel numbers in your life this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance you can also use this as an affirmation so let's see what we get here for you scorpio number six i am nurturing the life path number six spirit guides are calling you to embody the energy of nurturing that is the life path number six so let me read the message on this card for you your heart is your gift you are a natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others you are you are the uh, epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love Scorpio what a beautiful energy for you what a beautiful message if this reading resonates for you today please comment below hit that like button and if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content please consider subscribing other than that I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching